Professor Louis Morese has some planets on the boil. It's a big block coming down. Watch. He often encourages his students to make lava lamps like these ones as a way of demonstrating Earth's evolution. The density of the hot versus cold liquids, they play off against each other in these really complicated ways. So the blobs would be maybe continental crust and the background liquid, we, we think of that as maybe being a little bit like the mantle of the Earth. Professor Morese is an expert in planetary scale geodynamics. My interest is in how the Earth formed and how it became how it is today with plates moving, turning itself inside out, creating mountains, creating the oceans. Earth is covered in tectonic plates. Interactions at their boundaries can lead to major geological events such as earthquakes and volcanic eruptions. Professor Morese builds computer modelling tools to better understand the formation of those plates. Now the reason we're interested in that is because the process of plate tectonics stirs the whole earth in three dimensions. So the plates going round into the interior and coming back out again, that recycles a lot of interesting elements and those might well be elements that are important for sustaining life in the long term. He also wants to know why Earth appears to be the only planet in our solar system that has tectonic plates. And a really interesting question, I suppose, is if you look at exoplanets, planets around other stars, which you know, might be a bit larger or a bit smaller, or maybe have a different history, maybe they have a different heat content, maybe they're made of something very slightly different. You know, would those planets have, potentially have plate tectonics? So the study of plate tectonics has very big implications for understanding whether distant exoplanets may be suitable for life. One of Professor Morese's software creations is called Underworld, which can be used in both laptops and supercomputers to study geological problems. He insisted on the source code being available to researchers everywhere. It's very important to me because I, I really do actually believe in open science from that perspective, that if you want to do something, you want other people to be able to reproduce your work really quickly. You want other people to build on your ideas. So if they have access to the best tools and I have a bit, of more, a bit more time to think about how to improve those tools, then it's a you know, win for everybody. Born in London, Professor Morese moved to Australia more than 25 years ago. Today, he's based at the Australian National University, which is also home to one of Australia's most powerful supercomputers. It is sort of the National University, which makes it a little bit special. And, uh, you know, although we can access computers from, from anywhere, you know, we can also access the people, we can talk to people. There's natural collaboration that develops with other people who you run into. He sees becoming a fellow of the Australian Academy of Science as valued recognition of the earth sciences. It also gives a, a sort of an opportunity to let people know about the importance of you know, plan the, the Earth as a planet, uh, the pla planetary evolution, to be able to explain a little bit how, how the Earth evolves and why it's important to understand that. <laughs>